welcome to the biggest buffet in the US. This place is huge. We have to go get the tickets and then we have to go get in line, I think. Oh my gosh, I think this is the line for the tickets. We were literally about to get in line and we were just told that the line is outside. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the heck? This is absolutely insane. This is ridiculous. It is currently 4.56. Let's see what time we get seated. The line is moving kind of fast, so it's really not that bad right now. There's like a gift shop down there. Do you guys see it? We're about to go inside to another line. What time is it? 5.11. Here we go. This is the second line. Uh, this is where we pay for the ticket. Holy cannoli Zero. cake. Saturday dinner, grand menu starts at three. We are now entering the next line. Boots and table, that line. Boots only, this line. Ready? Uh -huh. Let's do this. I'm walking you guys with us just so you can see like the seats and a little bit of the ambience. You know, it's just sectioned up. Nothing too exciting, so I'm just gonna turn you guys off right here. Everything is gonna be self-serve, including your beverages. Okay. You're gonna have four dinner grills that are open. Each grill does have something different on it. Left to right, each end has three steam tables, a dessert line, and a beverage bar. First time, walk, look, and then make your selections. <laughs> Okay, table 32. Yeah. Let's see you with the food. Oh, wait, what time is it? 5.59. 5.59. So 4.57, 5.59. About an hour. All right, you guys. So we waited an hour in line. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys all the things that are here. It's so crowded and humongous. This is all I could get so far. I wasted no space. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is my third plate. I went to go get a drink, so I had to get another plate. Look at my steak, you guys. Oh my god. I'm literally so excited to dig in. There's salmon, steak, cornbread, mashed potatoes, stuffing, mac and cheese. Um, what is this called? Oh, chicken tender and gotta have the greens. Fried chicken, fried shrimp, cod, crab cake, a meatball, and beef. I forgot, brisket. I don't know. I'll go in with the mashed potato first. Mmm. Not the best thing ever, but the gravy's good. Oh, mm. I said stuffing, but it was called filling. I think it's like the same thing. Mm. I just got it. Did I do the mac and cheese yet? No, I didn't. Mm. Mm. I love the mac and cheese. Broccoli. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving this place. I will say I'm not a huge quality eater. I mean, there has to have some quality, but I love variety of food. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm so excited. Chicken tender. Oh, it got in the gravy. Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10 chicken tender. Look, try it for the camera. Rating. Mm. Out of 10? Yeah. I'm gonna give it like an 8. Mmm. We just tried my mac and cheese. What do you think? I like it. Look at their stuff. I went crazy. We, we all got one plate except for you. I know. I think I was like the only person with two plates. Three. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but two at a time. How is it for you so far? Salad's really good. Really? But you made it yourself or like what makes it really good? It's fresh. I like the fried shrimp. Like I got the a fried shrimp. I can't wait to eat it. Next plate, meatball, crab cake, codfish, fried shrimp, fried chicken, and the beef thing. Meh. Fish next. Not good. I don't like the fish. Mmm. It's a sweet meatball. Want to try the catfish? Mmm. -hmm. No, it's okay. My brother offered me catfish, but I'm gonna probably get it fresh and go in like order ish for you guys. What the hell? I feel like I'm getting full, but I'm not. I would not allow that to happen. Cleaning the palate. Crab cake, which it does not look good. Mm. 
not bad at all. There's barely any crab in here. But not it's pretty impressive. You wanna try my crab cake? He's trying the crab cake, y'all. Better than Mike's crab house. <laughs> Go watch the vlog if you haven't already. Blueberry How's blueberry? Oh, poor blueberry. The best thing here is the ice. That's what's up. I'm going in for the chicken. Mmm. Baby, you look extra tired. Mmm. Mmm. Did you get fresh chicken? So, you tried the meat by itself. I'm gonna try the meat without the skin. Mm. I see what you're saying. So the skin has all the flavor. Yeah. Which tells me it wasn't marinated or anything. Facts. But for a buffet fried chicken, I'm, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. The crisp is good too. It's crispy. It's, crispy. it's bomb. Mm -hmm. Boom boom sauce, not too bad. Oh my god, this is a great buffet. I would definitely come again. Fried shrimp. Flavorful, crispy, shrimpy. So not skimp on the shrimp. Mmm. Come try it if you haven't already. Even if you have, come again. This buffet was only 28 something a person, you guys. And only 12% service fee, which is tip. And they tell you not, they give you a piece, I don't want to touch it. They give you a sheet of paper that says don't leave tip. Next plate that I'm showing you guys. <laughs> I'll try the salmon first because it already looks like it dried out. Feel free to eat anything off of my plate. Mmm. Mmm. The salmon is impressive. A little flavorless, but cooked to perfection. I love that the steak is not overcooked and there's fat on it. Cornbread. Very mushy. Sweet. I've had better cornbread. My brother doesn't think the cornbread is mushy, just so you know. I'm about to crush my steak, y'all. I got the meat and the fat. What? This buffet steak is heavenly. For a $28 buffet, you're doing so good. Absolutely incredible. This is not only the biggest um, buffet in the US, probably the best. Mmm. I'll probably guys, I'll probably see you guys in my next plate. They're back. Dessert time already? It's a, it's a break. It's a palate cleanser as you would call it. I'm still working on my plate. <laughs> I think this is red velvet. They didn't really have signs, but... Are you going to make a movie out of this when you're done? YouTube. This lovely lady, our host, I guess, just told us they usually serve about 8,000 people a day. So that's... On Saturdays, right? Saturdays. Saturdays. That's crazy. Back to dessert, because we were lovely um, oh, interrupted. Got the red velvet. Cheesecake. This one we've never heard of before. It's called... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Shoe Fly. Don't bother me? Yeah. <laughs> This is, I think, peach cobbler, maybe? Blue, no. Yeah, right? Blue blueberry. Raspberry? Yeah, blue, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. I don't know. Why? It didn't have signs, but. And then we got the You gotta tell us how it is now. It's um, more on the sour side, so we're seeing more. Sweet. What should I get next, guys? More food or dessert? I think you should have filled. Hell no, I'm gonna be so full from waffle. It's fresh. I have to save that for last. I think you should get dessert to cleanse your palate because you do salty sweet, salty sweet. The problem with that is what if I get really full after the sweets? And I'm not, I'm more savory than sweets. You're not sweet at all. Stop it with me. Let me just try those for them before I go get more food. Shoe fly first. I don't know why it's called shoe fly, but. It's like the filling that you use for pecan pie. Oh. It's molasses. Well, maybe that's why it's supposed to fly. It flies like three round molasses. Really? I like it. The blueberry pie thing that got MB. Don't know how they feel about it. <laughs> I know exactly how I feel about it, and I'm not feeling it. 
Mm -mm. The peach is good. Mm. It's good. I like it. If you like peach, it's good. Peach cake pie. Ah, uh -huh. boy. He told me a fake name. You're terrible. It's red velvet cheesecake. You said cheesecake pie. <laughs> Mm. This is probably the first buffet I've ever been to that has legit cheesecake. That has legit dessert. All right, y'all. I'm going for my second round. You guys saw my three plates, me try their dessert, and now you're about to see my second round. We are back for my second round, their third, but they didn't get three plates for the first round. Since I'm up here, I'm just gonna show you guys the grill section. This is what grill one has, and it's like made fresh, as fresh as it gets. It smells really good too. Hi, not yet. <laughs> this side of the grill is like the brisket, ham, grilled onions, mushroom. Let's go check out grill two. Grill two is where I got my salmon from that you guys saw me eat earlier. Grill three and four have the same thing. Hi. This is where I got the steak from and it was so delicious. I'm coming back. Thank you. It was a 10 out of 10. They can cook it to temp how you like it. There's the burger. I don't know where the hot dog is, but I haven't gotten the hot dog or burger. I'm about to show you guys now how far the buffet goes or like how big it is, I guess. Each little bar that you guys see has different foods. There's the first bar. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not gonna count the whole thing, but it goes all the way down there. Oh, those are the grill stations that I just showed you guys. Hey, you need it. You're not gonna get it? What you get? Salad and corn. It's the best thing here. Oh my gosh. I have not counted how many bars there are. It's just so many and there's so many people. What I'm gonna do is show you guys the bars that I already went to, but I'm gonna show you like super quick because how crowded it is. Here is one of the bars. The crab cake is over there. The fried shrimp is over there. Here's the other bar that I already been to. This is where I got the chicken tenders, the filling, the mashed potato. Bar number three that I visited. This is where I got the mac and cheese. There is a bar that I haven't been to yet. It looks like there's waffle fries and melted cheese. Chicken noodle soup, broccoli cheese. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get anything from this bar, so I'm just gonna give you guys a glance. Maybe it's whatever that fry thing is, I'll get that. I started showing you guys the bar from down there. That's where I started. Moved my way over here, and oh my gosh, you guys, I just saw there's a whole nother like, room to sit in. There is another bar. I'm not sure I'm gonna be visiting this one, but I'm just showing you guys so you guys know. Here is the last food bar. It has wings over here. Do you guys see that? I don't want to get in people's way, so I'm not going to be like right over the food, but I'm just showing you guys the other bar. I've noticed they bring fresh fried chicken quite often and quick. Um, but yeah, this is the other bar. So you guys can see, and there's wings too. I haven't had their wings. I wasn't going to show you guys the salad bar because it's pretty boring, but it's relatively empty, so I'll give you a quick glance of the salad bar. So there's that stuff. And then this side is like more salad-y stuff. I think the pizza just came out, so that looks really good. This is near the fish station, the salmon station. I just stopped to get a burger and hot dog. I don't really care for it, but since I'm here, I wanna try it for you guys. And there's a burger topping section. Burger and hot dog. I'll tell you guys how it is. Why does your burger look so lengthy? It is. Mm, I don't like the bread, but the hot dog is actually good. I'm full from the three plates, but I'm really trying to just eat and try everything. I have the itis already. I'm only eating one bun for the burger. I don't know. Let me take another bite without the bun. Don't waste your stomach on the burger. I looked at it, I could have told you that. The chicken noodle soup threw me off because there's corn, but I'm gonna try it. Wow. Surprisingly, it's actually good. You try it. Mm. Right? Pretty impressive. It does taste like chicken noodle soup. Yeah, and just with corn. I like the corn. That's good. Who, the brisket? Thanks is better, but this is actually not bad. 
Strawberry. Can I try their waffle? Mm. You didn't put anything on it. It is soggy, almost like a pancake. The flavor of the flour where the waffle is good. Corn is good. Told you. We're like in Disney World of fat ass. We pretty much waited in line like this was a Disney ride. <laughs> round three. This round is gonna be called Glancy Glance of Dessert. This is a dessert bar, but here's another bar at the buffet. I do like that they wrap the cakes. I think that's pretty cool. Here's all the pudding stuff. I tried some with Off and B. Um, there's fruits over there. This is another bar at the buffet, but again, this is the glancy glance of the dessert. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the carnival cakes or whatever. Let me try to show you guys all three desserts that I grabbed. Baby, <laughs> don't judge me. Peanut butter. Mmm. I don't love the cake. It was the frosting that I liked. Maybe I'll show you guys the fountain drinks. Oh my god, they have an icy machine. I have to show you guys that too. By the way, something I noticed, if you come earlier, the line moves faster than... Like, we got here at like 5 or whatever time we told you guys and like, it just kept moving. I noticed as it got later, the line was like not moving as fast. So, if you don't want to wait too long... Don't come late. My coffee, guys. Thank you. I actually made you a caramel macchiato. Mm. My brother said he made me a caramel macchiato. Wow. Either he got skills or this buffet is like that. They have all these different creams. They have uh, vanilla, peppermint, peppermint mocha flavor, and then caramel macchiato, and then just regular half and half, regular cream, and something else. Oh, they have all chocolate milk. I saw that too. They also have milkshakes. And I am going to show them the icy. I thought them I will. I don't know if I'm going to go back to the dessert section. I didn't get to show you guys all the toppings they had for the ice cream, but just know that they have that. Carnival cake. Let's see how it tastes. We eat this all the time. Wait, you didn't tell them about your fourth place. I asked my brother to get it for me, you guys. The steak was so good. I had to double back. I didn't eat the burger or hot dog. So technically my round two, I didn't really get anything. Just content. I hope you guys like this content. What do you like about this buffet overall? The variety of drinks. <laughs> Your answer is being so funny. Strawberry mango. Oh, what a coincidence. I didn't show them the icing machine yet. How'd they do it? Guys, I cannot hang. This is gonna be the end. I'm showing you the icy machine and the soda machine. I think that's all that's left to show you guys. So yeah, here's the icy machine. Those are the flavors that they offer. There's more on this side too. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the icy machine. The drinks that you can get, juices, and the sodas. Oh, does that say bubbly? crazy but yeah now you guys ooh, see the drinks and then the buffet yeah ta-da <laughs> thank you for watching my video and staying to the very end comment down below to let us know where we're supposed to go eat and don't forget to pay for it by subscribing I was not capping.